Now, let me ask you, um, you know, you've been in this uh, business for a while. What do you think of the state of, uh, of music right now? Oh, gosh. So, I mean, I'm from old school. So, I mean, I my understanding is, you know, you get your music training. You, you know, you go to a, a real studio. You go to record it. You, you know, have a company distributed for you. So, you know, that's really my understanding of how the record industry, I guess, should be. But, of course, you know, things have changed. And, you know, I think the music has drastically changed because, number one, you know, the the music in schools have been taken out. Right. I mean, let's be real. You know, a lot of a lot of artists out there, they got their primary training, uh, learning about music from school, and it's been taken out. So there's nowhere for them to really go and get that, you know, that uh, teaching. I mean, you know, there's a lot of parents out there that can't afford to give their children private lessons, you know, like my parents did. And the only place they can learn music is in the school. So since that's been taken out, there's really no foundation to teach and guide how music should be performed or played or written. So, you know, here we have people that are out there kind of self-teaching themselves or getting on the Internet to, you know, learn how to play this or play that. And, then, you know, playing an instrument takes a lot of time and discipline. And we live in a, you know, microwave society now. And if you don't know how to play the latest instrument in five minutes, you're going to move on to something. Right. <laughs> So, you know, being an instrumentalist is almost, you know, uh, old-fashioned now. I mean, there's, there's times I go into the music store and they're looking at me like I'm lost because, you know, first of all, I'm a woman. <laughs> so, and what could I possibly know about, you know, instruments? And, you know, I'm not a kid just trying to do it for a hobby. I'm actually, you know, a seasoned musician. I'm a foreign object when I walk. <laughs> you know, because people just aren't going in and buying instruments and, you know, learning how to play them anymore. So they that affects the music that we hear out there in, in, the, in the radio world. You know, it's, it's, we have to thank our, our good friend, Mr. Bill Clinton, for deregulizing the entertainment industry. And that just opened up the door for any and everybody to, you know, have their own record company and make any kind of sounds, whether it's musically, uh, uh, theoretically right or not. Uh, Cheryl, let me ask you, do you think we'll ever see bands again? I, again, my stand is on if they don't bring it back into schools, where are they going to learn how to play an instrument? And, right. and the other part is, it's easier to push a button than it is to do rudiments on, on an instrument. <laughs> Let me yeah. be serious. You know, to learn how to play an instrument takes a lot of time, a lot of patience. And I mean, yeah, there's people that, you know, they use their time for the computer and all of that kind of stuff, but playing an instrument takes a whole other part of the brain right. <laughs> you know um do i think it'll, I, you know i hate, hate to be pessimistic but i just don't see it ever getting back i mean unless all of a sudden somebody makes it the latest fa- fad it's the latest fad hey look i can really play a real life instrument <laughs> it's the latest fad let's see how we can make this work i, I don't you know and but uh, on the other part is it's so much easier just to push a button and have it play itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's kind of six in one hand and half a dozen in another. I'm hoping it comes it comes popular. Now, let me ask you one. This a uh, fun question here. I'm gonna throw this at you, Cheryl. Now, you guys were seven gorgeous women, talented, doing your thing on stage. Did you guys have groupies? Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I still do. That's the scary part. I still do. It's like, what? <laughs> yeah. So let me ask you: Did uh, did the men all pause when y'all walked into the room? So those songs were appropriate there. Oh yeah, yeah. Like I said, we wrote songs about our life experience at that time. Okay. Just wanted to throw out, I mean, you hear about female groupies all the time, but I wasn't wondering if you guys had male groupies. Oh, yeah. Right. I mean, wait, wait. and we're living in modern times, so it's both male and female nowadays. Oh, like, okay. Well, I wasn't going to go there, but, uh, right. okay. I mean, hey, that's the society we live in. That's true. That's true. All right. Well, good to know that you guys are still out there doing your thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.